Hi, this is Jeff Lynn from Compliance West, and today I'm just going to run through real quickly how to conduct a test and do the adjustments on an HT2000P high pot tester. This high pot tester outputs AC and uh, up to 2000 volts. And today I'm going to show you how to take the tester and we're going to configure it uh, for 1200 volts AC, a trip current of 2 mils, and a test time of 1 second. That's all done on the back panel. You can see this one here, the middle one, is for test time. The bottom one is for leakage current. And over here is the voltage adjust. The way to do it is to start with the voltage adjust. What you do is you set the timer very high so that the tester will continue to test for a while. And then push the button, push the test button, and you'll see the voltage show up on the front panel. That'll stay the way it is. And right now it's a little low. We're going for 1200. So I'm going to put the screwdriver and the voltage adjust and just turn it. Oh, you need better glasses. Right, let's see, is it turning? Oh, here we go. There we go. It's going to set it for 1200, right? I'm going to go a little bit higher because we're very at controlled and so line uh, fluctuations will be a factor here. So I always set it maybe just a little bit more. We're going to go, uh, let's just set it for 1235, 1230. That way, if your line sags a little bit during the day, you'll still be at 1200. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the trip current for two mils. Turn it off. We don't need to have it running. The trip current is down here at the bottom. It's called leakage limit. And you do that by turning the knob. And on the front panel, as you turn the knob, you'll see the leakage current show up. That's the leakage current limit. So what we want to do is set it for 2 milliamps. So I'm going the wrong way here. 2... That's it. 2 milliamps. That was pretty easy. And then we're going to set the test time for one second. The test time is controlled here by this, by this center potentiometer, oddly enough called test time. It will show up in seconds. So I'm going to move the middle one. And it will, oh, right now we're at 48 seconds. Because we set it high to set the voltage. Coming down. There we go, one second. Now, every time that you hit the button, it will ramp up to 1,200 volts, and then it will hold that 1,200 volts for one second. It's going to watch for 2 milliamps or less. If it pops over 2 milliamps, you're going to get a, a failure. So here we go. Push the test button. Ramps up to 1,200. That's it. You get all passes. Right now, the ground check and ground open lights are lit because the ground check, the continuity check is not being done so that I can do it with nothing connected. But normally you would, um, you would set the continuity check with this little switch here called ground switch, ground, ground check. You put it in the on position. And what's going to happen is obviously we're going to have a failure when we run this. That shows ground open. Well, that's it. It's pretty simple to set up, pretty simple to use, very simple for the operator to tell whether it's a pass or a fail. I hope you like it. Please give us a call if you have any questions. My name again is Jeff Lind, Compliance West, 800-748-6224. Thank you.